हेलो बच्चों लेट्स रीड द क्वेश्चन अ कॉम्प्लेक्स नंबर जेड इज सेट टू बी यूनी मॉड्यूलर इफ मॉड ऑफ जेड इज इक्वल टू वन सपोज जेड वन एंड जेड टू आर कॉम्प्लेक्स नंबर सच दैट जेड वन माइनस ट्वाइस ऑफ जेड टू डिवाइडेड बाय टू माइनस जेड वन टाइम्स जेड टू कॉन्जुगेट इज यूनी मॉड्यूलर एंड जेड टू इज नॉट यूनी मॉड्यूलर देन द पॉइंट जेड वन लाइज ऑन अ ऑप्शन वन सर्कल ऑफ रेडियस टू ऑप्शन टू सर्कल ऑफ रेडियस रूट टू ऑप्शन थ्री स्ट्रेट लाइन पैरल टू एक्स एक्सेस और ऑप्शन फोर स्ट्रेट लाइन पैरल टू वाई एक्सेस सोल्यूशन शुरू करने से पहले लेट्स नोट डाउन द की कॉन्सेप्ट फॉर दिस प्रॉब्लम फर्स्ट की कॉन्सेप्ट इज फॉर एनी कॉम्प्लेक्स नंबर जेड Z times Z conjugate is equal to mod Z square. Second key concept is for any Z in complex number c, modulus of Z is always greater than or equal to zero. And third concept is the equation mod Z is equals to k, where k is a non-negative real number. This equation. represents complex numbers lying on a circle centered at origin with radius k in the question we are given that the complex number z is unimodular if mod of z is equals to 1 and we have z1 and z2 in the set of complex numbers such that z1 minus twice of z2 divided by 2 minus z1 times z2 conjugate is unimodular and we are also given that z2 is not unimodular and we have to find where does z1 lie now with this given statements and key concepts let's now start with our solution since we have that the given ratio is unimodular so therefore the modulus of z1 minus Twice of z2 divided by 2 minus z1 times z2 conjugate is equals to 1. So we can further simplify that modulus of z1 minus twice of z2 divided by modulus of 2 minus z1 times z2 conjugate is equals to 1. Now bring this to the other side. So we have modulus of z1 minus twice of z2 is equals to Modulus of twice of z1 times z2 conjugate square on both sides. So we have modulus of z1 minus twice of z2 square equals modulus of twice of z1 minus z2 conjugate square. Now you see we have modulus squared, and in the key concept we wrote z times z conjugate is equals to modulus of the co complex numbers square. So here we can write. So inside the modulus we have complex numbers z1 minus twice of z2. So we will write in product form. So we have z1 minus twice of z2 times the conjugate of z1 minus twice of z2. That is z1 conjugate minus twice of z2 conjugate. So we have 2 minus z1 times z2 conjugate times 2 minus Z1 conjugate times Z2. Let's expand this. So we have Z1 times Z1 conjugate minus twice of Z1 times Z2 conjugate minus twice of Z2 times Z1 conjugate plus four times Z2 times Z2 conjugate, which is equal to four minus twice of Z1 conjugate times Z2 minus twice of Z1 times Z2 conjugate plus Z1 times Z1 conjugate times Z2 times Z2 conjugate. 
now again we will use the concept so here we have z1 times z1 conjugate that is mod z1 squared minus now as you can see in the left hand side we have minus of twice of z1 times z2 conjugate and to the right we have minus 2 times z1 times z2 conjugate so we can cancel this out we can also cancel this out and so we are remained with so this is minus times 0 plus 4 times mod z2 squared is equals to 4 plus mod z1 squared times mod z2 squared now rearranging we will get mod z1 squared minus mod z1 squared times mod z2 squared equals 4 minus 4 times mod z2 squared so take z mod z1 squared common so we have 1 minus mod z2 squared equals 4 common 1 minus mod z2 squared and now since we are given that z2 is not unimodular that is mod z2 is not equal to 1 so therefore we can cancel these out and we therefore remained with mod z1 squared equals 4 and therefore mod z1 will be equal to 2 see why 2 because mod z1 cannot be equal to minus 2 as it does not give us negative values so therefore mod z1 is equal to 2 that is z1 lies on a circle centered at origin with radius 2 so this is our answer let's check the options so among the options option 1 circle of radius 2 is the correct answer i hope you understood it well best of luck and thank you